so these are all the jazz LPs. Uh, there's about uh, maybe 8,000 jazz LPs, I think. Um, we're going to count them. Um, it goes around the room. So this is, you know, this is D and E, so over here, and then goes all the way over to, you know, M's and S's. Right, it's all the way to the end behind the TV set. It goes all the way to the ground. You can, you'll, you can see that when you shoot over there. But I um, also have some 78s, a lot of 10 inches. Have, there's a downbeat stuff. There's a stack of boxes of down, old downbeats. I guess everyone's got that. Um, there is um, a lot of photo albums. Those are photo albums uh, over here on the, on the bottom shelves and photo albums up here. So these are all from record dates uh, throughout the years. Um, and then there's um, there's more on the behind you told me over uh, over there. <coughs> so these this is you know, these are there's hundreds of pictures here on um, different record dates. Um, so I guess you've got enough of records, right? There's more more um, photo albums up there. Mm -hmm. So eventually we'll scan, try to scan those. It's not very hard. The negatives all exist in the other boxes. Um, all the books down here, there's two shelves on either side. Those are all music industry books, uh, copyright stuff, everything related to the business. Um, this is, these are all music, uh, classical music books, um, an alphabetical, a strange alphabetical array, but, but basically that. Um, more music, more classical music, and then over here is uh, jazz, um, a lot of jazz books and blues and stuff. Same over here, jazz and blues, um, uh, some pop stuff. Uh, then this is just math and science books, uh, not related to music, just <coughs> here. So um, this is Ornette's violin, an electric violin. I don't, it's got EQ on it. I don't think it has been played in 30 years. These are CDs that I was involved in. All jazz, well, not all jazz, but all the, there's reissues, a lot of reissues, like those RCA notebooks I was talking about. There is a CD that goes on them. So um, there's a lot of new stuff. All the records that I have that I did are in that show. Over here, that's jazz. Um, I mean blues and rock. Um, so that's where you're dealing, your Jay Giles man, and, and blues, all the blues stuff is here. Um, so then there's um, classical, um, classical CDs, lots of operas. They're alphabetical, everything's alphabetical more or less. Um, these speakers are pretty good. They're handmade from Montreal and uh, Rod Carter, Herbie Hancock have these and made me buy them. Um, but they're expensive and I end up getting a good deal so I guess I don't regret it. But after I bought them and it's didn't get the good equipment so I had to get the good this stuff. But anyway, so these are all uh, um, classical and classical CDs. These two kind of miscellaneous stuff. This is stuff that I produced. House of Blues tribute box to different Zeppelin, uh, Clapton, those guys, um, Rolling Stones. You know, it's, I got a lot of notebooks that pertain to that. So, oh, there's more CDs down here. Um, box sets of CDs. This is classical LPs. Let me get the door. Sure. They're alphabetical. <coughs> so it just goes, you know, alphabetical all the way down, alphabetical. Alphabetical, then there's um, weird stuff, different kinds of other music, world music, um, stuff that people have put out and sent to me. It's a variety of things. Um, these are novels, it's full of novels. So over here is um, the, jazz, the, uh, the classical LPs start here. Again, alphabetical, all this junk is just stuff. Uh, this Don Cherry was Don Cherry's. Um, oops, I gotta 
nothing in place. Um, there is, um, this is signed by Dizzy. I took this picture of his, he was from Sherall, South Carolina. And I was passing through there and shot it and gave it to him and I was making a record with him. So it's to John with love, Dizzy Gillespie. And I gave it to him and he wasn't happy. And I said, well, I thought you'd like that. He said, well, you know, they put a sign up, but when I went back, they dedicated a high school to me. When I went back to the dedication, I couldn't get a haircut. So, I'm really all that cool with it. Anyway, um, what else? These all, all, like I said, classical L LPs. A lot of memorabilia stuff. Um, the, the, cla the, the classical LPs continue over here. Uh, this is Ornette's violin. Um, it says Stradivarius inside if you want to look. Um, and then um, there's Junior Wells harmonicas. He signed those. A couple of those. Downstairs I have a James Cotton harmonica um, and a Toot Stillman harmonica. And I think Carrie Bell gave me a harmonica too. Um, this is my digitizing station. So I'm digitizing certain things. I pointed them out in another area. So I'm working on Sun Ra, Chet Baker, and Ornette. And then I have some 10 inch reels, some Thad Jones and Mel Lewis I recorded in Munich that nobody's ever heard. A record came out, a record was called from it, and came out and won a Grammy. But there's five of the nights of stuff that's absolutely fantastic. Um, these are notebooks having to do with like, contracts and um, specific things that I've been kind of dipping into. The instruments are not, they're just mine. There's, there's a great cornet. Old Martin trumpet, uh, 1940s uh, King cornet that I used to play when I was a kid. A clarinet and a flute up there that just random instruments I happen to have. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this is a flugelhorn that I owned in the um, in the 70s, and uh, it's in good shape because I'm not sure why, but. Anyway, I gave it, I loaded it to Chet, because I signed Chet Baker to a and to CTI in 74, I think, um, 73, he was trying to make a comeback, and so I loaned him my flugelhorn, and um, six years later he gave it back to me. So Chet played that horn for six years. I'm not sure why I gave it back to him. I was surprised to get it back. Um, what else? Um, I guess that's it in this room box or two. You know, it doesn't look in very good shape, but it, it does rattle. But if you look inside, you can see it says Chattavaria 1716. So, I mean, it could be. I just don't think it is. <laughs> you should get it appraised if you're sitting on two million dollars. <laughs> Everything he played, he touched, he made music with it. 